all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft today's fun adventure series starts in stormwind where we are going to be going through the allied races uh starting areas and we're going to be getting out of bounds in them uh and we're going to go explore around and take and have fun uh today we're going to be starting in the shadow forge city where the dark iron dwarves allied race comes from um yeah it's gonna be awesome we're gonna go ahead there i mean it's literally just um you know right here <laughs> they added in all the allied races teleporters so you can go anywhere you like now out of all the allied races the only one they didn't add was the cult because obviously you just go to bfa uh but yeah i'm excited to go get out of bounds and uh, go take a look around as far as I know, there is no bounty on these places, so I don't have anybody to thank for the OOB, unless I haven't looked at the list in a while. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, let's go start with the um, Shadow Forge City here. All right, so we have officially arrived in the city, and uh, we're going to go take a look around and see if we can get over the walls. Now, normally with this you start as a dark dark iron dwarf this is where you start at and uh, we're just gonna go see if there's anything outside i'm very excited we're gonna be doing the series dropping every thursday for the next few weeks uh as you all know on every tuesday i'm doing the court of star videos and then every thursday we're gonna be doing the allied videos and then every saturday i'll come up with something more fun this saturday we got the transmog contest so that's gonna be great uh, but let's go take a look around. I mean, we're literally just in the Black Rock Depths, so it's gonna be very familiar for people. Um, I gotta remember how to get around this dungeon. It's been a minute. Once we're done with the Alliance places, we're then gonna go start on the Horde, and we'll go do the Horde Allied races as well. No! All right, my jump button didn't work. That's okay. Let's go take a look this way. And let's go get on the other side of the wall here. Now, Blizzard thought they were smart and putting a wall up so you can't get past. But, you know, I'd like to introduce them to Demon Hunters. Um, let's go take a look around and see what we can find here. Now, obviously, you're never supposed to get back here. Uh, but you could just jump right up here. Or you should be able to. Ah, uh, come on. All right, hold on one sec. Let me wait for Mother Fell Rush. There we go. And then you can just get right over the wall here and just keep jumping up right here. Or you should be able to. Yep. And then get right here. And then get right here. And boom. You should be able to get up over the wall. Yep. There we go. We're over the wall. We're on top of the wall. Oh, you can actually just fall straight through. Okay. I didn't know you could do that. Um, so there you go. That's how to get out of the starting zone for the Dark Iron Dwarves. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you could go through the wall, so that was actually kind of surprising. That was kind of cool to see. All right, let's go take a look around and see what they keep. Now, we are in a empty um, Black Rock Deaths, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of afraid walking around because I don't know what's hollow and what, what is solid, so I don't know what we're going to fall through. It looks like everything is kept intact here. But there is one special thing I do want to show you guys. Just stick with me through the end of the video. There's something kind of really odd outside the map. Um, I've already been outside the map one time. Um, as you guys can see, they do keep basically about everything. Now, what I'm curious is if they keep the entrance to Molten Core. Um, and I don't know if they do or not. Um, I got to remember how to get to Molten Core. If, is that the entrance over there? Let's go try to fly over there and see what happens. I'm curious. I think this is the entrance to Molten Core, right? If I'm not mistaken. No. This is just a random... Uh, okay, this is just part of the scenery. But you can be able... Wow, so you can actually fly all the way down here and everything. The only problem is now we're stuck. <laughs> So now we're just going to have to die. So let's just jump in the lava. We should die pretty quickly. And once we release our spirit, um, we should take us back to where we want to go. 
but let's just do that real quick all right we should be there there we go uh we can just take resurrect uh okay we can't do resurrect and sickness yet interesting i wonder why i'm very curious maybe because we were technically out of bounds i don't know come on game work with me here there we go all right we're back so we went up that way first let's go head back this way and let's actually go jump over the wall again let's go see if we can get to the beginning of the dungeon i would be very curious to find out if um we can get to the entrance portal i'm assuming it's not active but i'm definitely curious to see if we can get to the entrance portal of black rock depths let's go take a look Look at all the core pups are playing dead. That's funny. All right, so what we gotta do is just go up here. Jump up here again. Jump over here. Get back up on top. And there we go, we're back over the wall again. So just remember you can fly through there. So do be careful walking through. We are on the other side of the wall now. So let's actually go take a look this way and see what they keep. I'm assuming it's just the Black Rock Devs, all the regular dungeon here. Now we are going to get stuck here though, unfortunately, because it looks like there we are gated in. I wonder if we could fly through the gate. Or maybe jump through it. We don't have a key or nothing. So I don't think you're normally supposed to be back here anyways. I'm out I was range. thinking maybe we could like jump through somehow. Uh, maybe not. Alright, that's fine. Sometimes... Oh, okay. We can just jump straight through. <laughs> oh, here's the portal. Awesome. Can we go through it? Oh, we can. No, we can't. Ah, let's just walk through. That's cool though. All right, so they do keep the entrance portal over here. When you go through it, nothing happens. So let's actually go head out this way. And let's go take a look at the dungeon. It's kind of weird being in Black, Black Rock Deaths with no enemies. I've never been in a scenario like this before. That's pretty neat. Now, if I remember, this dungeon was huge back in the day. I remember doing this growing up, and this dungeon took so long by itself. And every time I would queue up, and you'd queue... Oh, these, can you actually open the doors? No way. Well, that's cool to know. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if we can actually get to the room back there as well. I'd definitely be curious. Let's see how far this actually goes. It looks like it is going to wrap all the way around. That's awesome that you could open the doors, though. It's locked. That one's locked. I was really surprised we could just jump over the gate. That was awesome. I didn't know we could do that. Well, I'm glad that worked out. All right, let's actually go head up there. Let's go see. It looks like every single room is empty. Nothing too special going on yet. Now, this is where we might get stuck. Over here in the... Okay, we just did a circle. I haven't played this uh, dungeon in a long time, so I please excuse me if I feel like I'm going in circles here, which it seems like I am. I will show you guys how to break out of it here in a minute, but I'm just curious to see what's actually back here. I was going to say, did we just lock ourselves in? So that's weird. So all the gates are actually... You can just open and close them. Huh. Alright, I never, I never thought that was possible. Can we open the gates here, too? Looks like we can. Wow, look at that. That's neat. Normally, you can't do that, right? If I'm not mistaken. So all the gates are openable. Okay. 
openable. I don't even know if that's a word. I might just made that up. <laughs> uh, I'm super excited for the transmog contest on Saturday. I hope you guys are. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope to see uh, many entries and many uh, people entering. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're back to back to where we start. Now, I am curious about something. Um, I do want to head back here. And I bet you anything, the Molten Core entrance is actually down below. You can open this too. So everywhere is openable, okay. It's cool going back through the, some of these old dungeons and seeing them all empty. Uh, anything down here? Just the below, okay. Nothing yet. You know what I do want to do? I want to go try and see if we can get to the, um, behind the entrance portal. Um, and I believe we can if we fell rush over to it. So the entrance portal is right here. So we need to get through the wall somewhere over here. Uh, and then maybe we can jump through to the other side. So I'm assuming maybe we can use these low walls here to build a seesaw, make ourselves big, and then get to the other side and see if we can get to the other side of the portal here. Um, the only thing is, I don't think there is a place to do that, unfortunately, because it looks like the ceilings aren't low enough when we even when we jump on the boxes. So we might have to just straight fly over. So what we can do is go back here. Get up something like this, maybe. Uh, that's not low enough either. So what we let's go try it back here. This might even work. Yeah, this will put us directly into the other room. Uh, but I don't think we're still low enough here. Yeah, this isn't still low enough. Unfortunately, I don't know if we can do this. Um. Oh, you get on top of these. All right. I didn't think. Oh, that's look at that. That's trippy. There's nothing hanging on top of them. Huh? Um. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's actually a low enough place where we. Oh, this might actually work. Hold on. Only thing is we got to stay up there and I don't know if it's going to let us. Nah, that's not going to work. Okay, I have another idea. We're going to have to go back here. And we just went all the way around. Didn't mean to do that. Oops. That's okay. Let's just keep walking. What we're going to do is... Might have to fly from here. I think the ceilings are pretty low. But we can jump on top of them, maybe? How do you get up there, though, is the question. Ooh, that was close. I don't think that's gonna work, though. The... This might be our best bet. So where are we in the dungeon right now? The only thing is, I don't know if I can actually jump up here. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is solid enough. Ah, that's unfortunate. I think even if we shrink ourselves, that's not too far of a glide. If we can jump over the wall here and get into here, we would be in there. Um... Is this low? Uh, not that low, huh? This looks like a really good spot, but we just gotta get on top of this box somehow. Okay, that works. <laughs> Alright, let's build this. Oh, it fell through. Try it. Nah. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's keep going this way. I think we can find another way. Ooh, maybe on top of here. Problem is, getting on top of these places is the problem. It's not necessarily hard to break out of just getting up there to begin with. 
problem is this ceiling is so low. I don't know if we can make the jump out. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. So if we can line ourselves up with the wall here. Um, that's not too far of a glide. And I think we could do it. Okay, we're up to try that again. Ah, come on. There we go. This is where we want to get to. So this is a pretty straight shot. We just have to break out. Okay. Make ourselves big. And this should work. Yeah, we're out. Okay. So we need to... Oh, it's actually a longer distance than I thought. Holy moly. This might be a little harder than I think. We need to get ourselves way over there. Well, I mean, the problem is going through one and then going through another. That might be a longer distance than I thought. Ah, we, oh yeah, we clip back in. Son of a gun. So we can definitely make it if we just fly over, but I'll try another time, guys. So I definitely do want to get in that room, but let me show you guys how to break out of this dungeon. And I want to go show you something kind of special in the map below us. So as you guys saw, there's really nothing outside, but there is something kind of funny that I'll have you. I'll show you. So if you break out right over here and you fly directly below the map, there is uh, some hidden NPCs outside the map. Uh, why they're there, I have no idea. Um, obviously, they're supposed to be loaded or used for something. We got 20 seconds on our seesaw. Perfect. If we... Go, like, right here. Um... There we go. Build the seesaw. We're going to back out. We're going to make ourselves big again with the drinking horn. We're going to jump on top of here. And we're going to get out of the map again. There we go. Oh, almost forgot to fly. Now, if you guys see below, there's actually NPCs here. Look at this. Is there more NPCs out the map? I have no idea. Maybe. But what's kind of funny is when you come out here, there's all these dwarves just sitting out here laughing and talking. The grim patrons. The guzzling patron. Look at this. You can actually talk to them too. So why they're out here? I have no idea. Maybe somebody knows. I'm assuming they just fell through the map. Uh, they're obviously here for a reason. But I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny, though. <laughs> they're just chilling out here. In void space. Why they're out here? I have no idea. So maybe somebody else knows. I'm assuming they're supposed to be loaded into a certain scenario in Block Rock Deaths. Obviously, the patrons I know are usually in the um, hall area, right? Over here. Would you fight them in the bar and all that? So I'm assuming they're just loaded in but just fell through i don't know i don't know i thought that was kind of funny though but anyways guys that is what is outside the dark iron dwarves allied race starting zone in black rock deaths um i'm excited for the transmog contest on saturday it's gonna be at one o'clock no 12 o'clock sorry 12 o'clock pst that's uh pst pacific standard time and uh yeah so i hope you guys see you guys all there it's gonna be a lot of fun can't wait to see all the transmogs you guys put together and it's gonna be a fun competition so anyways guys as always my name is nathan take care